Well, hey guys, welcome back. I am so excited to share this haul with you. Today I have a brand new Dollar Tree haul for you, as well as a few new items from Dollar General. So let's get started because there is a lot to show you. So the first thing we have is this gorgeous round metal tray with Merry Christmas, holly and berries around the middle. Look at those colors. It is so beautiful, you guys. This was just $1. It is so pretty and it's really sturdy, just that metal tray. It is so beautiful beautiful you guys you don't need to do anything with this but you could if you wanted to I might paint it I might not it's just so pretty as is I will probably just leave it now I don't know if you're ready for this but check out this gorgeous ceramic tray I mean look at that you guys farm fresh Christmas trees has the little red truck a beautiful red color with the tree in the back cut and carry pine spruce and fir I mean that is just stunning and this was only five dollars you guys this is beautifully done beautifully made and really really heavy too it's weighty it's just really well done my store only had two of these and I grabbed one. Look how beautiful that is. Look how beautiful the writing is on there. It's so pretty. I just love this and I love the black trim around the edges. Gorgeous, you guys. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, Dollar General is just, they have some beautiful Christmas items out this year. So check it out if you have one close to you. And continuing on with the red truck and buffalo check decor, you guys, check these plates out. These were $1 each at Dollar General. I picked up two of these smaller plates and two of the larger plates. And they are so well done as well, you guys. $1 each for these. So if you don't yet have your Christmas table setting, these are gorgeous, you guys. Like I said, they are $1 each. They are plastic, but they are really, really well made. They're not a flimsy plastic. They're really nice plastic material, really hard plastic. And they have that gray kind of wood print on the back, the red truck with the trees and a little wreath on the door of the truck. And of course, your black and white buffalo check pattern on the rim of the dishes. How beautiful are these? They're just stunning. And I love the truck on these as well. So pretty, you guys. So much detail in these, too. These are gorgeous and $1 each. So pretty. And then I also found this gorgeous coffee mug, you guys. Merry and Bright, it has the red and black buffalo check pattern truck and a green and black check patterned tree in the truck. It is gorgeous, a red handle on there. Look at how beautiful that is. This was $2, you guys. It's also a dishwasher and a microwave safe. It's a really good size mug. It's beautiful, I love it. So, so pretty. And continuing on with the red truck decor, we found these two beautiful glass jars. Look at how gorgeous these are. They have the beautiful black lids on them. I mean, and these are glass, you guys. They're so pretty. And I love the shape of these too. They're so beautiful. These also have the red and black buffalo check on the truck as well as a green tree with some gorgeous round red ornaments on there. Farm fresh Christmas tree, it says. I mean, these are stunning. This large one was $3 and the smaller one is $2. My store had several designs of these. They had the trucks, they had a couple of different styles of trucks. They had an ice skate, which was also really, really pretty. You could use these for candy, you could use them for a gift, put something in there for a gift for someone. They're just so pretty, I love them. And check these out, you guys, these little 16 fluid ounce glass jars. They have a little embossed snowflake on the side, a raised embossed snowflakes right into the glass. Gorgeous, and then the lids are decorative. They've got the little white snowflakes on them. I mean, how beautiful are those? 
I also grabbed a few of these around uh, plastic containers. Look how cute these are. Happy Holidays, they have a little gingerbread man on there. I usually pick up at least one or two of these every year because in my family we make candy and cookies and these make great little gift containers for that. They're a nice, nice hard plastic. Decorative covers. Oh, these were $1. They're really, really great for gift giving, especially if you make any kind of homemade candy or cookies. These work brilliantly for that. So cute. And I picked up one mailbox from Dollar General because it's just really cute. I love the simplicity of it. I love that it has a plastic flag on it instead of the paper ones like Dollar Tree, but no peeking and it says Express on there, has Santa and his reindeer flying across, and of course this is metal. This was one dollar. Really, really pretty design on there. Just so simple, sleek. I love it. And I love the size of these smaller ones too. And I really like that they have the plastic flag on there. A little more durable than the paper ones. No peeking on the back, no peeking on the front. How cute! Now let's talk ornaments, you guys. Look at these, they're little ornament pillows and they are so cute. Peace, joy, and love. And they've got the little twine handle or hanger on them. And these I think were $2. Yeah, these were $2 each. Really well made. They've got the black and red buffalo check. These are adorable. I grabbed two of those, you guys. They're so cute. They're huge. I might use them in projects. I might use them on a tree. I'm not sure yet, but they are so cute. I love them. Check out this little kitchen set, you guys. How cute is this? I've seen these at Dollar Tree as well. Um, they're a dollar each, just like they are at Dollar Tree, but these are a little extra special to me because this one has kind of a spackle feature on it almost. Um, little dots in there, little speckles in there in the uh, little spatula. But I love these little minis. These were $1 each. And I just love these little minis. I actually use these a lot in my kitchen. These little whisks come in really, really handy. But I love that they came out with the red. This is red and silver. and. Then, of course, look at this, you guys. This is a tree, tree tongs. I mean, come on. How cute are those? <laughs> this is a great gift for like a gift basket. These are so cute, you guys. Little tree tongs. And they're nice and sturdy, too. <laughs> I had to. They're so cute. My goodness. Great little uh gift basket stuffer or stocking stuffer for the baker or cook in your family. How cute are these? One dollar each, you guys. And they're really well made. I use my little whisk all the time from Dollar Tree. Um, these are Dollar General, but I use mine from Dollar Tree all the time as well as the little tongs. So, but the fact that these are a tree, I mean, come on. They also had a little snowman too, but adorable. And more ornaments, you guys. Look at how beautiful these are. These were $1. I just love these. I got two different versions of these in the round wooden ones. Um, these are fairly heavy. And like I said, $1 each. We have the magic of Christmas is family. How true is that? $1. Just the uh, wood on the back, the raw wood. But how cute are those? They're, they're really, really big too but I love the little corrugated metal piece on the top. So sweet. And these are a little bit raised. Each panel is raised just a little bit, giving it kind of that farmhouse look. How cute. And then we have the Believe in the Magic of Christmas. I use the word believe in my house a lot during uh, the holidays. It's kind of a theme of mine, and so whenever I see the word believe on something, I usually grab it. <laughs> but again, these little panels are raised with the wood showing or peeking through in between. Little corrugated metal piece here. One dollar, you guys. I think I got two of each of those round ones. Very, very pretty. I love these. 
and you know you could you could use these in a craft as well if you want to paint over these and you know create something of your own you could do that they're only one dollar each you could make a really cute little project you could personalize these so many things you could do but I might use them just as is because I think they're really really stunning then I found these which I also thought were super cute again one dollar for these they've got this little sprig of pine needles with the pine cone in the middle a little twine as the hanger and this one says oh holy night um, really really cute these are super lightweight because I don't like a real heavy ornament on our tree you guys so these are perfect and then we have this one as well and this one just says Christmas on it with some deer and some trees again we have the little pieces of pine with a pine cone in the middle I mean they are just darling again these are one dollar and then I found these, which I've seen things similar at Dollar Tree, of course. Again, these were $1 from Dollar General. They have the little pine sprig with a pine cone in the middle and a little berry. This one says, blessed with the little black and red buffalo check on the raw piece of wood. And I picked up one that says Faith as well. And this one actually has a little raised piece in the middle there. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but... Uh, right underneath your pine and pine cone sprig you have a little raised piece in the middle giving it just a little bit of more interest super cute I love the metal lettering too or the metal words on there so cute so I got a couple of the blessed and a couple of the faith then I also found these these both say believe in the magic so cute you guys and these just have a piece over the top that's uh, looks like it's kind of decoupaged on there uh, believe in the magic the wording is a little bit raised it's kind of a rough texture on there <clears throat> just plain on the back again these were one dollar really nice size again almost the size of my hand so cute I mean, Dollar General has some great ornaments this year as well. So, but look at all of those. They're so beautiful, you guys. So pretty. And moving on to Dollar Tree, I found one of these dish drying mats in the black and white buffalo check. And it's kind of a thicker material. I have some ideas in mind for using this and it won't be as a drying mat. It's <laughs> just so you know, but, um, course a dollar from Dollar Tree but it's really well made it's really pretty it's got that thick kind of a foamy texture if you will um, but has the soft material on the back side of it but really cute then my Dollar Tree had these gorgeous poinsettia picks you guys these may look a little silver to you guys but I'm, they're more of a champagne color they're really really pretty I think my store had um, maybe three different colors and these are gorgeous there's <clears throat> glittery and they're sparkly and shiny and they have the little clips on the back they're stunning I mean these are gonna look gorgeous in some Christmas wreaths or any kind of decor you could use these on your tree really nice little clips on these too but I mean really beautiful you can kind of move them around a little bit these are so pretty. I love them. I can't wait to use these in a few projects, you guys. They're just stunning. I think I picked up five or six of those. Gorgeous. I also picked up this little piece of wall art. It just says, forever blessed with every breath. I mean, how sweet is that with the black and white buffalo check? This is really well done, super lightweight. Just a little piece of wall art with a little hanging bracket on the top back side but um, really, really cute. Love it. And we have more of the sleigh ornaments, which Dollar Tree had last year as well. These are gorgeous. My store did not have the red last year, so I already have the silver ones from last year, but I don't have the red. These are so darling. Got the little buffalo check, red and black buffalo check bow, little sprig of needles, pine needles, and a little tiny pine cone in the middle. These are just darling. I love them. And I love sleighs too. And sleds and stockings. Absolutely adorable. I did pick up some of the mini pine cones as well from Dollar Tree. 
Um, these are really great for, uh, for projects, but you can smell them 10 miles away. I'm not kidding. If you have a sensitivity to smell, these may not be for you because they are, I have the nose of a bloodhound, or at least that's what everyone tells me, and I could smell these things like 10 miles away in the store. They are so heavily scented, but I love them, and I do enjoy that smell. It's kind of a cinnamony smell, but uh, these are great for little projects. A little messy, but there again, most good things are. I did decide to uh, pick up one of the color changing LED taper candles. I have not tried these out. I don't know how well they work. We'll try it out and see. But I just thought they were really cute. They have different colors um, of bases. Uh, they have the red and I think my store had green and silver as well. So let's go ahead and give this a go. See how well this works. They come with the little uh, protective or security tab thing here so the battery doesn't go dead on you. So we will pull that out and turn it on. Ooh. Hey, that's pretty neat. If this part lit up, that would be amazing. But it's very cute. I like it. Glad I picked one up. Might grab a few more too for some projects. A lot of cute little detail on here too with the melted wax on the sides coming off the flame area, the little snowflakes on the stem, and the glittery base. Really well done. I found a few more nesting boxes that I absolutely love. Look you guys, these have these kind of that sweater, that winter holiday sweater pattern on the sides. I love this. It says, wishing you seasons filled with joy, indeed. And of course, these are nesting, so I picked up three sizes in this, but there are actually four. There's a larger version of this as well, but I didn't want the larger one. I just wanted these three sizes for a particular project. They're all red on the inside, as well as underneath the lid, but I love the little candy cane um, type pattern on the lid as well. Look how cute those are. Really nice little pattern. They had a couple other patterns I thought were really cute too, but this one won me over. I found a couple more uh, floral picks too, you guys. These are some, I'm gonna call them mini poinsettia picks. It doesn't say that, they just say poinsettia, but they are smaller than the other ones, and I picked them up in gold, silver, and a white. And they're all glittered and they're really beautiful. I think the gold is my favorite, even though I don't typically like a gold, uh, especially more of a yellow gold like this, but these are really, really beautiful. There are six stems on each branch. So you're getting a fair amount. And these are the silver. Look how pretty those are, you guys. They are just beautiful and I love them. And then we have the white. Just a little glitter on there. These are really pretty. These are gonna make for great fillers, you guys. Love them. I also grabbed a few of these poinsettia bushes and these have the pine cones on them and a little bit of a flocked greenery branch. Look how pretty those are. They have almost a flocked looking uh, middle section as well with the white frosted look. So pretty. These are really beautiful. I grabbed a few of these, guys. Really, really stunning picks. And the last of the poinsettia bushes, you guys, we have these, they're kind of a sheer um, fabric. They're, I don't know, they're satiny looking, they're sheer, they kind of remind me of almost like a mercury type of glass look to them. I really love these. I'm really excited to use these in some projects. Look at those leaves. They're not completely opaque. They're a little bit transparent. I don't know if you can see my finger through there. They're kind of transparent, just that color peeking through and kind of a satiny, almost glass effect look. They're really, really beautiful. And the white ones are the same. They're a little bit glittery. A little bit of the kind of rainbow colored glitter on there. And of course we have the silver as well. Aren't those gorgeous, you guys? I cannot wait to use these in some Christmas crafts, you guys. They are just beautiful. I just love the material on these. Love it. So pretty. And then there's the fillers. Look at these. They're gorgeous. My gosh. I'm so excited, you guys. Let's start off with these little ferns. Oh my goodness. Look at these, you guys. 
These are just so beautiful. They're flocked, just letting a little bit of that green peek through and they have some glitter on them. I mean, these are gorgeous, you guys. I've not seen these in my Dollar Tree before. They're so beautiful. I just love them. They look so high end. And then there are these ferns. These are kind of a gold or champagne color. And these are beautiful too. Uh, the only ones I found before were the silver. So I was able to pick up a few in the champagne uh, color as well. And these are gorgeous. They are uh, very messy, of course, but like I always say, the messier the better. And then my store finally had some of the baby breath as well. So I picked up a few of those. My store doesn't always have the baby breath. So I was really happy to see these. These are great fillers as well. So I think I'm finally set with my florals, you guys. I mean, Dollar Tree has some amazing florals, but like I always say, if you don't get it right away, it's gonna be gone very quickly. The good stuff goes really fast. So I picked up a few of these little signs. These are just the, uh, the cardboard and they're hollow in the back but how darling are those guys seasons greetings and candy cane lane when my husband and i lived in the milwaukee area we actually had something called candy cane lane where everybody would decorate for christmas and then drive through the area and check out everybody's decorations and you'd give a small donation to support a local charity which was amazing so they're hollow in the back but look at how beautiful these are these are so pretty i may use them as is or i may use them in projects i'm not sure picked up two of each of these. I also grabbed some of this wired garland in the tree branches. I usually end up cutting these in half uh, and using them just to tie wreaths or for anything. You can use them as a filler for some of those mini Christmas trees. Uh, these are, there are so many uses for these. I would always have these on hand. Never be without it. Look what I found. I mean, these are so pretty, you guys. Very farmhousey, really, really cute. Keep life simple, yes please, indeed. Little uh, kitchen towel and pot holders, double-sided. These are so nice, you guys. I mean, I don't usually pick uh, pot holders and kitchen towels up, but these are gonna be for gift baskets, I think, and they're so pretty with the little wood pattern and remind me of something that you'd get from Magnolia, <laughs> from the Magnolia store. I love these. I've seen very similar items at Kohl's. I mean, for much, much more, guys. And check out this gift box, you guys. Oh my gosh, I mean, this is just beautiful. It has the glitter tree, which is a little bit raised on the top. I mean, it's so beautiful. And it's a really good size too, but look, it's got the wood pattern on the side. I mean, little snowflakes as well. I mean, this is so well done. With the buffalo check pattern in the backdrop, farm fresh Christmas trees, little raised tree in the middle, and then two trees on the side. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Well done, Dollar Tree. And then there's this one, which I had to pick up as well. This one has the green and white polka dots, or the green background with the white polka dots on it. I mean, this is so cute, you guys. Deck the halls with boughs of holly, fa la 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 la. <laughs> All right, sorry, it should uh, save your ears. Plug your ears, guys. And this is just a raised little tree on here with the uh, with the words on it. I mean, it has the glitter on it. It's just so cute, you guys. Dollar Tree needs to stop making such cute little gift boxes because I have a lot. <laughs> Speaking of gift boxes, then I picked up a few more of these cute little gift boxes. And cute, this one just says joy to the world with the little wreath on there and the snowflakes and buffalo check and the satin ribbon handle on there. I mean, wow. The one side has the metallic on it, metallic on the words and in the, in the leaves and the snowflakes. And then the other side is just plain, but really, really pretty. And then there were these. What? <laughs> I mean, more gift boxes. Yes, these are nesting boxes. And I got all three sizes that I could find. Wow. Those are gorgeous. 
absolutely gorgeous, you guys. I mean, they have the large, medium, and small. They have the truck on both sides. The one side has the metallic um, color on it, and they all have the satin ribbon handles. But look at that. I mean, these are gorgeous. Merry Christmas with the red truck. The bow has the metallic on there and the wreath. I mean, you guys, come on. These are absolutely amazing. Don't walk to your nearest Dollar Tree, my friends. Run, because these are not going to last long. And check out this cute little Santa belt sign. Ho, 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 glittery little belt buckle. I love this. This is so cute. And then my Dollar Tree had these, which I had not seen before. And I think they're so pretty. Little uh, glittery leaves. There's 12 in each. They're that kind of foam or felt um, material. My store had the yellow, the red, and the orange. All the glitter on there. Really, really beautiful. And then in the floral section, my Dollar Tree had this uh, new garland, this floral garland. Oh, I just love these. These are so great to use in projects. Got two of each of those. Oh, I also have a green one in the, um, the leaves. These are gonna be great for projects. My store finally had the calendars in, you guys. This is the first time I've seen them in my store. So I was really happy because I'm gonna be using these in this one probably for some of my upcoming spring projects and then some of these in my fall projects. Um, these are really, really, they just have really nice, really cute pictures in them. So really excited to use these and um, have been looking for them. I am so happy to have finally found them. And look at these cute little wood block decor signs. These are so cute. Again, they're that heavy duty wood block. And this one just says blessed with kind of a peachy orange color as the background and the blessed uh, is raised up a little bit. And I mean, you could use these in a Christmas decor. You could paint the background red, or I mean, there's so many things you could do with these, or just leave them as is because they're really, really pretty just as they are. So I grabbed a couple of these grayish blue fashion scarves. I have some ideas in mind for these guys, which I will hopefully be sharing with you very, very soon. I'm gonna be using these in a few projects coming up. And honestly, I really like Dollar Tree scarves. They're really nice, they're super lightweight. They're perfect for summer to wear. But these are for projects and I just loved the color and thought, what can I make using this? <laughs> because I wanna use it in a project because I just love the color. I have some ideas, stay tuned. Look at this cute little candle warmer. I mean, you guys. It's a little beehive. It's so adorable. The top is a flower. This is so cute. I could not pass this little guy up, you guys. So cute. I love the color and the bees are raised. I mean, this is just adorable. I love this. And I just grabbed one of these. So cute. Just the detail in here, you guys, is just, it astonishes me. So pretty, love that. Then I found these little lunchbox notes, which I thought would be super, super cute, you know, if the kids are going to school or if they're not. Just something cute to put in their lunchbox. Little, cute little messages. I've actually done this before for nieces and nephews. I, I actually made some myself um, on the same, the same premise as this, but what a cute little idea, right? Let your kids know that you're thinking of them. I mean, such a cute little idea. How many are in here? Lunchbox notes includes 18 notes in here. I love this new one, you guys. Look at how pretty that is. Ooh, I think this is a new favorite. Pretty though, I love that. Look at how beautiful that is, you guys. Look at look how cute. Love this holographic design. This is so pretty. And check out these fall picks, you guys. I, what? I don't even know how these are in our Dollar Tree. 
I spotted these and I just grabbed two of each because look how gorgeous these are, you guys. Seriously, I have never seen these before in Dollar Tree. Can't believe my eyes. I just, I can't believe it. Have you guys seen these in your stores? They are just so, I mean, they're really long. Let me know in the comment section if you guys have seen anything like this in your Dollar Trees. I'm not gonna open the rest because I'm afraid I'll lose some of them. They're very fragile. They're just dried, um, dried florals, dried stems. So this is what the tags say on here. Have you guys seen these at your Dollar Tree? I just, I looked over at some of the fall decor and I spotted these and I grabbed two of each that my Dollar Tree had. And I don't know, they're gorgeous, but really, really fragile. It's, um, I don't know, let me know if you guys have seen these. These are an amazing find, you guys. Again, very fragile, so if you find them, be very careful with them, but these are gorgeous. Then I also grabbed this little box. I thought this would be really nice for um, a guy's gift or a man's gift. I just think it's really, really pretty. Farm fresh Christmas trees, pine, spruce, fir. I love the color of this box, you guys, this gift box. Again, we have the satin ribbon handle and the gold metallic writing and kind of accent color here on the one side. And then the other side is just the regular. And then I also grabbed a few of these poinsettia clips, uh, three different colors. These are kind of a velvety um, textured material on these, but I picked these up in white champagne and the kind of burgundy red. Um, these two are edged with the glittery gold and then the white doesn't have any edging on it, but I really love the white too. And they have a really nice sturdy clip on them. Really powerful clip actually. So they're just a stem with a clip, the wired leaves, so you can kind of form them however you would like. Really, really pretty, guys. And then I also ended up getting um, from their Crafter Square section uh, this pencil and brush organizer. And I'll show you guys how I use this in my crafting area when I get it set up. But I thought this would be a really nice, useful thing for $1. And my store had these wooden triangles with the decorative background in them. They're cute as is, but I have some creative ideas in mind for these. Then I saw these really cute little signs with the, um, the round wooden beads on there as the handle. Um, I mean, how cute are these? I'm not super fond of any of the sayings, so they're not bad, but I, I think I'm going to use these in some projects, you guys, but they're really, really nice. The wood is finished on these. Um, but look at how pretty these are, you guys. I just love these little handles. These are really cute for some projects. They're, they're just a little wooden frame. And, you know, you could put a picture in there. Or you can use them as is. Or you could put something else in there, a little saying. I mean, these are, these are adorable. So I'm anxious to uh, put these to good use. And I grabbed a few more of the little paint sets because they're so cute. They have this super cute little uh, truck with the pumpkins in the back. This is Happy Harvest. I mean, these were just too cute to not, not grab. And check out these gloves, you guys. So I've got two pair of the women's gloves, one in the cream and tan, one in the black and white. And then my store had one of the men's in the black and gray color. But these are so nice, you guys. These are just really well made. I mean, and they're really, really comfortable. They're really thick. They're so soft. They're like, they feel like they're lined with fleece, you guys. These are so warm and so soft. Have you seen these in your Dollar Tree? If you do, I would pick some up. What about these, you guys? Cute little photo frames. And they come with a little clip, but you know, I have some other things in mind for these and they're on a stand. They stand up on their own. I picked this up in the, um, the grayish blue as well. Guys, has kind of a gold, um, metallic gold paint on it as well. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it's very, very pretty. 
And guys, check these out. Little Wood Shop Bird Feeder and Bird House. This is the Little Bird House. It's just a set that you put together. You can paint these. I mean, these are so cute. Everything you need. There's 10 pre-cut wood pieces, the wood glue and custom string. So everything that you need to put this together is in here. And then this is the little bird feeder. How cute are these? But you could paint these if you'd like. I mean, these are great little projects. And then I found these cute little felt stickers, one in Santa and one in the little ornaments. And these are super cute too. There's four of the Santa, and then there are nine of the ornaments in here. These are so cute, you guys. And there's different shapes too. So we have the round ornament, this shape. This one has the little tree on it. <laughs> so cute. And we have this one. I think that's it, but those are so cute. Let's check out Santa. Oh, he's adorable. Look at the little detail in him. And then just a little dot sticker on the back there. I love these. And then I also grabbed this little color your own decor. Comes with the four little markers and this is just a vehicle with the tree on the top. And how cute is this little doormat, you guys? It's actually fairly, fairly thick, fairly heavy. Um, it says home on there. You could, you know, you could paint this if you wanted, but I just love it. I love it just the way it is. It's not real big. It doesn't have any dimensions on it. Kind of that rustic farmhouse look. Perfect for fall. I love it. Then I picked up some placemats. Look at how gorgeous these are. I think I'm gonna make some pillows. Would you guys like to see that? Let me know. Sometimes I use uh, hot glue to make pillows. Sometimes I sew them, um, but nonetheless, these are gonna make beautiful fall pillows. I think they're so pretty. Really nice little satin sheen on the back. Just a nice fabric placemat. These are 12 by 18 inches. And look at how beautiful that is, you guys. They're so pretty. I just love these. Then I also found some with the red truck on them. Of course, Harvest a Blessing. These are beautiful too, same size. Um, make some pillows out of these too, I think. That's my favorite thing to do with the placemats from Dollar Tree. And then we have these. Oh, I love these. These are gorgeous, the kind of that that farmhouse blue gray color and the nice orange. These off oh, the color scheme in these are so stunning. Cannot wait to do projects with these, make some pillows or what have you. I picked up a few more of the fall colored mums, the yellow, the burgundy and the orange. And then I also found these little string lights. My store had a couple different varieties. I picked up the little rocket ship ones. They are so cute. I just love these little lights. Little rocket ships, guys. They're so cute. I also uh, grabbed a few of the pillar candles, one in harvest green and the other one in the white. And I'm going to be using these in projects. Then I found these little gift boxes. They're holographic, you guys. These are gorgeous. How have I not seen these before? Have you guys seen these in your Dollar Tree? These look like they may have been part of the spring collection, but I don't know. This is the first time I've seen them. Again, these are nesting boxes, but look at it. They are absolutely gorgeous. And then another thing I found, it says, love your life. And these are again, nesting boxes, but I love this purple, the kind of a lilac color with the yellow. These are so pretty. And then I also grabbed a couple of these clear uh, glass cutting boards. I'm going to be using these in a few projects coming up. So stay tuned for that, you guys. These are really nice. They're the glass. They're perfect for the project that I need them for. And they've got the little uh, sticky bottoms on there. So they're not going to slide around on you once you have them placed on a hard surface. These are nice to have and I'm going to use these in a project and I think that is everything guys. That concludes this Dollar Tree and Dollar General haul guys. I hope you've enjoyed seeing everything I picked up and I hope you're able to find some of these goodies in your Dollar Tree or Dollar General store. Thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate you carving a little time out of your busy day to spend this time with me. Please give this video a big thumbs up. That really helps out my channel and I sure would appreciate that support from you guys. Also, Subscribe to my channel if you're not already and click on that little bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. I love you guys. I thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day, my friends.
see.